Hi everyone, how's it going? I hope you're having a great day. If not, let's pick it up by playing Bellhelm. My name is Nub Queen, and welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about how Forge works in Bellhelm. What does it do, and what are the stages of upgrades that you can do to craft more and more items, gears, and armors? Forge is an essential item that you need to have in your base. It repairs metal component tools, and depending on the level of your forge station, which there are seven, you can construct better and better stuff as you level up. Just like workbench, a forge station also needs a shelter and a roof in order to work properly. It takes four stones, four coal. Oh, last episode, I keep on calling it charcoals, but I meant coal. Anyway, forge takes four stones, four coals, ten woods, and six copper in order to make it. Use your crafting hammer to construct it. The forge itself is considered level one. Level two is the forge cooler, which is made of 25 fine wood and 10 coppers. Level three is anvils. You will need five wood and two bronze to unlock it. We will be talking about how to create bronze in the next video, so stay tuned. Oh, and by the way, when you're placing these forge upgrades, you will need to place them close to the forge in order for it to work. You will see these gold chains looking things connecting to the forge. That means it's working and you can place it down. If the gold chain is not there, it means you're placing the upgrades outside the range. So you will need to move them closer to each other. Level four is Smith and Bill. It requires five woods and 20 irons. You will get iron scraps from the swamp dungeon called Sunken Dungeon. We will also have a video on that soon. Level 5 is Forge Tool Rack. It needs 10 woods and 15 irons. Next up is Forge Bellows. Takes 5 wood, 5 deer hide, and 4 chains. Chains can be collected from the Sunken Dungeon as well. It's somewhat rare in my opinion. From all the playing I did, I've only collected maybe not even 10 at the moment. Or maybe I'm just super unlucky. And the last upgrade at the moment level seven is grinding wheel requires 25 woods and a sharpening stone which can be crafted by a stone cutter i only upgraded to the grinding wheel really late in the game only because i found a sharpening stone in one of the foolings camp only then the grinding wheel upgrade is unlocked for me but you guys know that here you can upgrade it as soon as you have the stone cutter once the forge is fully upgraded, you will unlock everything that you can craft currently in the game, including high-end weapons and armors. So I will say upgrade them as early as you can, so you can maximize your DPS and protection. Last thing I want to mention is that your forge need to be up to a certain level in order to repair certain tools or certain gears. If your tools or gears is higher level than your forge level, you will not be able to repair those tools. Say if you have a fully upgraded forge at your main base, you crafted some high-end gears, then you travel somewhere and create a brand new forge there, but it has no upgrades. You will not be able to repair the gears that are forge level two and on because the new forge station is only level one while you are wearing level two or three gears. I'm not sure if I'm explaining this well. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but anywho, this is all you need to know about the forge in Belham. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please like this video if you find it helpful. It helps more than you know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!